Now, <coughs> the, a few weeks ago, we had a, a couple of guys on the show. One of them was a leading contender for the WBC Light Welterweight Championship. And another guy was a guy who was fighting for the WBC Light Welterweight Championship. And he did fight at the weekend, and he managed to win. He managed to beat the legendary Mexican Eric Morales, El Terrible, I believe his name is, although it sounded a little bit Italian as opposed to Spanish. Now, that man, the man I'm talking about, is Philadelphia's, Philadelphia's very own Danny Garcia. And I'm delighted to say, that's right, the new WBC super welterweight, as they call it, sorry, super lightweight, as they call it in America, champion. Danny Garcia is on the line now. Danny, first of all, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. No, listen, it's my pleasure. Uh, thanks for coming back on because a lot of guys say they will come back on and they win a belt and then they vanish. So I'm really pleased you've done it. <laughs> Danny, was it a harder? Tell me, tell the truth, half us. Was it easier or harder than you expected? No, actually, um, I, I got what I expected. I knew he's a veteran. I knew he's going to bring. I knew he still had a lot left in the tank. Um, as you can see with the Madonna fight, he brought, he gave Madonna a great fight. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew it was going to be a tough fight, and um, and uh, I was well prepared for it. Yeah. And what about the situation with him not making the weight beforehand, Dan? Did that play on your mind? Do you think there's a little bit of mind games as such? Um, well, I knew he probably didn't want to lose the weight because he didn't want to be, he didn't want to be weak for the fight. So he just, uh, I guess he just kept two extra pounds. And uh, I guess it was a mental thing for him. Me, I really didn't. I really didn't care. I was, I was ready for the. Um, I was ready for the fight. I was going to rehydrate. I was going to gain some weight overnight. Mm. So I don't think the two pounds is a big deal for me, but for him, it probably was. Yeah, Danny, how, on the night, how much heavier than the the hundred and forty pounds were you when you got in the ring? What, what do you, what do you, or do you know, or can you guess? Yeah, um, I actually they check they checked my weight. My unofficial weight was a uh, hundred hundred fifty two pounds. 52 or 60? 12 pounds overnight. Oh, 150. Okay, that's not bad. Is that about average for you to gain, Danny? Yeah, that's the average. The average is about um, 9, to, uh, 9, to, 9 to 11 pounds. Now, Dan, you said you promised me the last time you were on that you would become the new champion, and you have done. And you also promised you'd come back, and you have done. Now, now on the night you were challenged, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, after the fight at a press conference by a guy that's based in London, London and New York, called uh, uh, Josia Lusigan. Um, uh, you seemed a little bit surprised when he challenged you. Was he was he in your plans, or were you maybe looking elsewhere? I mean, I, to be honest with you, um. I never even saw him fight. I never knew who he was. Um, but uh, I don't know who he beat. I don't know if he beat anybody good before. Um, but um, if he's next and uh, my manager says he's next and my promoter says he's next, then he's next. Yeah, and, that, and that's the way a fighter should be, providing it all makes sense. But other than that, Danny, um, I'm, I'm assuming you're looking at the May 19th showdown in Las Vegas between... Amir Khan and Lamont Peterson. I'm assuming you've got a little eye on that. Yes, no doubt. Um, we want to uh, we want to unify the titles, and um, hopefully uh, we can we can get that we can get that done. We can we can get a big fight. And and and, it, and that would be a, a big enough fight, Danny, because. Um, that's going to get a lot of profile, and you know you're a young kid. You've just beaten a legend. Any suggestion that uh, from Morales about packing it in, or maybe coming back looking for you? Was there anything after the fight said? Um, no, he actually he didn't uh, he didn't say nothing to me. Um, okay. uh, I actually tried to hand, hand, give him a handshake. He didn't want to give me a handshake, oh. uh, but you know, I guess he, uh, you know. Guess he doesn't like me. <laughs> hey, listen, it doesn't make any difference. You know, you don't have to like the people you beat and you don't have to like the people you lose to. Danny, at the end of the day, you can close your eyes and you can listen to this. You are the WBC super lightweight champion of the world. You've got the belt. You've got the memory to prove it. No one can ever take that away from you. Danny Garcia, thanks for joining us on the show. <laughs> See you, Danny. Top man, 24 years of age. I liked him. I like him. A lot. Now, I, we've got a big fight coming up, to say the least. May the 5th, Las Vegas, the return of Floyd Mayweather against Miguel Cotto. OK, this is the Cotto that seems to have been finished, then comes back better than ever. And then, just when you think he's back, here's another tricky performance. His last performance was flawless, arguably 
the best or one of the best of his career. And Floyd, well, he keeps having these breaks. He goes up and down in weight. He's got aggravation in court. He's got to go to prison, I think, on June the 1st or something. Ridiculous. But you know what? This is a special one. This one's a little bit better than one. It's a lot better than a lot of Floyd's recent fights. And it's going to be live and it's going to be exclusive here with us on Box Nation. But you know what? That's on May the 5th.